Hey guys, it's Christian here from Solitec Solutions. In this demonstration video, I'm going to show you how to add and then associate a cable. So let's go ahead and look at this example over here. I've got my motor wired up to a terminal strip, but at the moment, as you can see, this is not a cable yet. They are just normal wires that are used in my schematic. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to actually specify a cable. We can do that by going to the project tab up the top and click cables. Next, I want to specify a new cable. So left click on new cable. And that will open up this cable manager. Now, I'm going to filter out for some cables here. I might want to have a power cable and the section, um, say three kilowatt. So it should be all right for a two and a half millimeter squared. Um, and the number of conductors should be four with a ground. So there you go. Just select the top one over here and click on the plus. That will actually add the cable to the project. So you can see over here, W1 with its colors, brown, black, blue, and green and yellow. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to associate the wires over here with the cable. First, what we're going to do is we're going to select the actual wires, window select, then right click and simply select associate cable cores. That will bring up the this window over here. At the bottom, we can actually see that it goes or the wires that are there go from the terminal strip X1 to M1, which is our motor. Now, at the top, we can select all the available cables. So if I drop this down here, I haven't specified a function to that cable. That's why it's select, saying here, no function. And drop down this one here, so W1, it's cable one, and we've got all my cables over here. Note that at the moment, there is no origin and destination um, referencing available because this cable hasn't been assigned yet. Next, I'm going to assign the cables to the wires. We're going to left click the top brown um, cable and we just hold the shift key and select the earth or the protection here. We do the same thing down here. We select the top one, hold the shift key and select the bottom one. Now that's selected everything over here. Next, I'm going to click the button Associate Cable Course. And as soon as I've done that, everything turns bold. And as you can see, I've got now my origin and destination information available underneath the cable. And I've got also the course or the colors available from the actual cable. Now, how does this reflect in my actual schematic? Let's have a look. I can now simply click on OK. And if I zoom in a bit more, I can now see that my cable is associated. That's it for this week's electrical tip. Thank you for watching, guys.